Hello and welcome to another episode of Art Tips and Life Blibs. Today's episode is actually a little bit different. It's in collaboration with Fashion Series Magazine, which is a local magazine in my area. So this is image three of four. And if you want to see the rest of those, it'll come out in the magazine. That'll be available online or in print. I'll put links below once the magazine's out. But thank you guys in advance for watching this video. I'm just going to jump right into it now. This is a story about two friends. Best friends, to be more precise. We'll just call them L and D. So, L and D met when they were only 16 years old. Everybody was out with friends, hanging out. But then a buddy of mine brought D along. L didn't even notice her at first because D was really, really timid. But as fate would have it, they were drawn to each other. You guys know how it is. You just pull towards those who are destined to be your friends. It's like they didn't even have a choice in the matter. After that first encounter, it didn't take long for them to become close friends. Now, I'm skipping a lot here, of course, because it's not important. You know, all the blah, 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 they hung out, yada, 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 they talked, whatever, go on, go on, go on. But they had a dynamic that most best friends can relate to. They were drastically different, yet so alike. They always seemed to be so in tune to each other's feelings. Some even mistook them for sisters. Now, I knew Elle. She was an amazing person. Dee was always going out of her way for people she cared about, although she was very shy. And Elle was more like me, a lively extrovert. She could be seen dancing on the street without a care in the world. Actually, sometimes she was dancing with me. Well, time passed, as it does, and the two of them stayed close. They were always together, always happy, always laughing, making jokes, just having a good time. Dee taught Elle how to be more compassionate. And L taught D how to be more confident in herself and to speak up when she needed to. Then, as though this is right out of a bad movie, we hit that that annoying, annoying quote. All good things must come to an end. D got the news that she would be moving to Japan. L and D just turned into long distance. L tried being tough since being loud meant having tough skin or so people think, but that didn't last very long. It was the worst at the airport, the hardest goodbye ever. They promised each other that they'd talk on Skype every day and that they would see each other again soon, but when was soon? They really had no idea. They were both not in the best situation to be traveling the world anytime soon. D became a full-time student in Japan and L was working extremely hard trying to establish herself. Now, I know a lot of people. I've seen a lot of friends and relationships failed to less of a distance and smaller reasons, but these two were not giving up. Even though their situation was so rough, no face-to-face -face contact, completely switched time zones, they did not and would not give up on each other. Every single day without fail, they would talk to each other for hours. They made no excuses, none at all, and they worked hard to keep their friendship alive and well. They knew that it was going to be rough. They saw all the challenges ahead of them right at the beginning, yet they both bravely stepped up to meet the challenge. And now, thousands and thousands of miles away from each other, their friendship is still as strong as ever because they never gave up. They knew it was worth it, so they fought for it, and they're still fighting for it today. At the end of the day, life really isn't just a smooth road. I wouldn't even call it a roller coaster, because that would imply that it's on tracks. It goes up and down, zigs back and forth, and even hurdles you into walls. But within all this chaos is balance. You can find it too if you dig. You have to look for the good in every situation, no matter how much it knocks you astray. L and D did it, so what's stopping you? Life is always going to throw you curveballs. It's up to you to figure out how to handle it. Will you bow out when things get a little bit rough? Will you stand up and face the challenge? Some things are worth fighting for. Sometimes clarity isn't just going to make itself. What I'm trying to say is, don't wait for life to balance itself out for you. Make the balance yourself. Make the changes needed. Do the things you need to do to balance out your life, even when everything seems like it's off. And with that, thank you guys again for watching another episode of Art Tips and Life Blips. This one was a bit special. I was trying out something different by telling a story instead. So uh, let me know in the comments below how you liked it, if you did like it, rather than me just ranting and raving. I'm not going to do this all the time. I'm going to, you know, switch back and forth and whatnot. But if you guys liked it, just let me know. 
And I have to thank the people over at Fashion Series Magazine. They're going to be featuring me, and there's actually going to be an interview. I forgot to include that at the beginning of the video. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be an interview there. I am going to put the links in the description below, so you can check all those things out when it's out. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And, you know, if you share this video with your friends, that really helps me out a lot. Oh, also, I'm almost at 200 subscribers. I swear I just celebrated 100 last week. So thank you guys so much for all the love you guys are giving me. I'll see you guys next week. So uh, with that, take care.